थैंक यू सारे जहां से अच्छा हिंदुस्ता हमारा हम बुल बुले हैं इसकी ये गुल स्थिता हमारा नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू द नाहा रिपब्लिक डे सेलिब्रेशन लेट्स स्टार्ट दिस वंडरफुल सेलिब्रेशन विथ द इंडियन नेशनल एंथम and i request all of you to be able to stand and sing janagana mana dhinayaka jaya hai bharat bhagya vidhata पंजाब सिंधु गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उच्चल गंगा विंध्य हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल गल दित रंगा तब बना में जागे तब शुभ आशीष मांगे गाए तब जय गाता जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विदाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे अगेन अ वंडरफुल वेलकम टू एवरीवन हियर टुडे एट द आउटसाइड आई लाइक टू गिव अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन about who we are as naha so north american hindu association the or naha is a bc registered society and it's based out of vancouver canada we are a team of uh, dedicated volunteers that want to contribute towards realizing equitable rights and recognition for the hindus in north america from all national origins and ethnicities our mission is uh, to protect and promote the well-being of hindu north americans in the congruence with all north american citizens in the true spirit of secular and equitable values naha builds relationships with other secular and equitable organizations in order to work towards this goal we approach our vision by working on public policy education and community engagement we advocate for inclusive rights and prosperity of hindu identity in north america and around the world we advocate for domestic and foreign policies to protect and strengthen the core interests of hindu community in north america we reach out to civic government social and media platforms in north america to accord well deserved dignity and respect to our core identity our mantra is satyameva jayate which means truth alone triumphs we work with north american academic institutions to spread awareness of hindu philosophies and to ensure that the security of spiritual freedom for future generations of hindu north americans and in term reach all of you to connect and embrace these opportunities and hoping to see more volunteers uh when we organize such events so a few events that we have organized are the weekly yoga sessions which is on sundays for ladies 
uh, Sri Ram summer camp, which, which was held in July and August in 2020. You have positive parenting sessions, Veda Parichaya, uh, weekly so, lo, uh, shloka sessions, festival celebrations from Janmashtami, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Diwali, Makar Shankranti, and the regular Vedic math classes, which are on Fridays. Uh, the Srimad Bhagavad Gita lessons on Sundays and many more and many more yet to come. So with this, we, I'd like to give, a, this is the brief introduction of, um, you know, the North American Hindu Association. And if you need more inf uh, information or you want to connect with us, uh, the moderators in the WhatsApp group, or if you know of friends who would love to be a part of this group, please uh, send them the WhatsApp link. So <clears throat> we are here gathered today for the Republic Day celebrations. So the Republic Day in India honors the day on which the Constitution of India came into effect on the 26th January 1950. The Con Indian Constitution replaced the Government of India Act in 1935 as the governing document, thus turning the nation into a newly formed republic. The constitution was adopted by the Indian Constituent Assembly on the 26th of November, 1949. It came into effect two months later with a democratic government system. This completed the country's transformation towards becoming an independent republic. On this day, a ceremonious parade takes place at the famous Rajpath in the national capital of New Delhi, the Republic Day Parade is performed as a tribute to India, its unity and diversity, and its rich cultural heritage. We shall now offer one such tribute with dances, poems, songs, and speeches. I'm sure you will enjoy this program today. Even though far away from India, we endeavor to take you virtually closer to India in mind and in spirit. So starting our program today, we would like to invite Yash Bhatia, uh, who will uh, recite a patriotic poem about Shaheed Bhagat Singh. Yash. Namaskar. Good Shabda Shri Bhagat Singh ke na. Tumne hi to Anglejo ko jiba kalal kara tha. तुमने ही तो दिया देश को इन कला का नारा था तुमने ही तो क्रांति गाई थी युवकों के प्राणों में तुमने ही तो आग गाई थी कवियों के गानों में तुम तेरे विवर रोचित पानी ताना शाय घबराए दंड सुनाया पांची का ये बात नहीं तुमको भाई हंस कर बोले थे तुम हमें पांची पर मत लटकाना हमें जंगी कैदी हमें गोली से ही उड़वाना जल्ला दो ने तुमको जिस दिन पांसी पर लटकाया था और शवों को चुपके चुपके सतलोच पार चलाया था नेहरू रोए गांधी रोए जनता थी लाचार पड़ी आंखों आगे लाल लटाया कैसी थी वो हाई खड़ी जब तक नील का कन का चंदा ने छटा दिखाया तब तक विश्व तुम्हारी गाता झूम झूम कर गाएगा जय हिंद वेरी नाइस वेरी नाइस यश भाटिया थैंक यू सो मच सच एन अमेजिंग पोएम नेक्स्ट वी विल हैव सानवी गुप्ता हु विल गिव अस अ स्पीच ऑन द रिपब्लिक डे एंड इट्स सिग्निफिकेंस can you guys see and hear me? Yes, Sanvi. Okay. India is a land of colorful festivals, but national festivals are something which binds the entire nation together, imparting a message of unity in diversity. Namaste to everyone and happy Republic Day. My name is Sanvi Gupta and today I'll be talking about India's Republic Day. January 26th, which is marked as Indian Republic Day, is a prominent national festival celebrated every year to commemorate the day when the Constitution came back into effect in 1950. 
Most of us have grown up with fond memories of this day, like hosting the tricolor flags, watching the parade, and even celebrating the country's independent spirit. But do you know what the importance of this day is and why it is celebrated on January 26th? The importance of Republic Day. It was on this day 71 years ago, the Indian constitution came into force and the country was declared the world's largest democracy in the world. After 200 years of British rule, when India gained independence from the United Kingdom on August 16th, 9th, 15th, 1947, it did not have a permanent constitution of its own. It was felt that a written constitution would help to run the country more systematically, and for that, a drafting committee was constituted, headed by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. It took almost two years, 11 months, and 18 days for the committee to draft the constitution. After making all the necessary changes, it was formally adopted on November 26, 1949, by the Constituent Assembly of India. However, it came into force on January 26, 1950. And since that day, India started celebrating January 26 as Republic Day. This date was chosen specifically chosen as it marks the anniversary of Purna Swaraj Day, which was held on January 26, 1930. This day's resolution made on January 26, 1930 called for complete freedom from the British rule. The Constitution gave India citizens the power to govern themselves by choosing a secular democratic republic, assuring justice, equality, liberty, and promoting fraternity to all citizens. How Republic Day is celebrated every year. A lot of effort is put towards organizing events and celebrating Republic Day across the country. But the center of attention is always the grand event organized at the Rajput in the national capital. The event starts with the Prime Minister laying a wreath at the Amar Jawan Jyoti at, Indian, at India Gate to remember soldiers who sacrificed their lives for the country. The President of India then hosts the flag on, at Rajput every year, which is followed by a colorful parade showcasing the diversity of the culture, country and its military power. India's military power is presided over by the Indian president, who is the supreme commander of the Indian armed forces. Assorted tablets representing the colorful culture of different states, PSUs and other ministries are also a major attraction of the parade. The President of India also confers the military persons, citizens, and children with bravery awards. Apart from this, this state and district level culture, culture related festivals are organized every year on this day. It is a custom to have a foreign head of nations as the chief guest for the Republic Day Parade at the national capital. How it will be celebrated this year. Now we will talk about how it is celebrated this year. This year, due to COVID-19, the Republic Day celebration would not be the same. The large gathering will not be allowed and the parade at the national capital will take place with many changes. First of all, there will be no chief guest as the British Prime Minister has called off his trip due to surging coronavirus cases in his country. The number, the number of marching con contingents from the armed forces has been reduced from 144 to only 96. Besides, each member of it will be wearing a mask to prevent the transmission of COVID-19. Seating arrangements have also been made, keeping the social distancing norms in mind. I hope that everyone enjoys this festival at home with wonderful arrangements at home. Happy Republic Day to everyone once again. Dhanyavad. Thank you, Sanvi. Beautifully written and uh, you said it so well. One of my 
fondest and cherished memories actually is uh, to watch the Independence Day Parade and the Republic Day Parade when I was growing up, right? All, all of us always have, we used to have a holiday and we used to watch that. That was the, that was the highlight of the day. So uh, the next person to be um, performing today would be Soham Nagpal. She's going to talk about the culture of India. Soham, go ahead. Namaste. My poem's title is Culture of India. Namaste. My poem's title is Culture of India. India has its culture displayed in customs and traditions. India is known for its unique festivals and celebrations. India has its specialized arts from Taj Mahal at Agra and India Gate at India's heart. The beauty of Indian culture, whether folk or tri tribal art, even the wall paintings and sculpture has its own learning embarked. An expression of culture in its dignified dance and its melodious music, you should listen if you get a chance. The clothing in India differs with its geographical base. Every ornament with its traditional wear has its own amazing grace. India has its unity whenever there's a need. Sharing at times of crisis, it's a value sown indeed. I love India. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so um, Such a beautiful and vivid picture about India. <clears throat> Next, we have... Uh, Rujda Ayer, who's going to uh, recite a poem, Haruna Maya Ma Ki Chati Par, uh, on Bhagat Singh. Namaste, I'm going to recite a poem. Karuna Maya Ma Ki Chati Par, Kiya Bandhu Ko Ah Halal, Karuna Maya Ma Ki Chati Par Kiya Bandhu Ko Ah Halal Bhadik Khada Hai Dekha Kaise Rangge Huye Dono Ghalal Ma Roti Hai Main Rota Hu Ma Roti Hai Main Rota Hu Jagti Ka Rota Hai Rom Kil kil hasta pur kasai, prati dwani te hota hai vyom. Muh aakho se firta lahu, muh aakho se firta lahu, aur dhadakti chab ki aak. Rassi takta ghada dirni, rassi takta ghada dirni, sabi rehe aakho me na. कौन कहाँ वे गए इसे अब कोई बताता है कौन कहाँ वे गए इसे अब कोई बताता है नहीं भूलता हाय हाय रे नहीं भूलता हाय हाय रे नहीं भूलता हाय हाय रे भगत सिंह याद आता है भगत सिंह याद आता है भगत सिंह याद आता है जय हिंद ओह दैट्स वंडरफुल थैंक यू रुजला यस वी शुड नेवर फॉरगेट द द क्रोज ऑफ पीपल हु हैव गिवन देयर लाइफ फॉर द इंडिपेंडेंस ऑफ द कंट्री थैंक यू रुजला नेक्स्ट वी हैव आनिया गांधी Shalini, Shreya, and Sanvi Gandhi, who's going to, who are going to sing a patriotic song. भूमि हर ग्राम है हर वाला देवी की 
प्रतिमा बच्चा बच्चा राम है हर शरीर मंदिर सा पावन हर मानव उपकारी है जहाँ सिंह बन गए खिलौने गाय जहाँ माँ प्यारी है हर शरीर मंदिर सा पावन हर मानव उपकारी है यहाँ सिंह बन गए खिलौने गाय जहाँ माँ प्यारी है जहाँ सवेरा शंख बजाता लोड़ी गाती शाम है हर बारा देवी की प्रतिमा बच्चा बच्चा राम है जहाँ कर्म से भाग्य बदलता शम निष्ठा कल्याणी है त्याग और तप घी गाता गाती कवीवाणी है जहाँ कर्म से भाग्य बदलता शम निष्ठा कल्याणी है त्याग और तप की गाता गाती कब की वाणी है जिसके सर का गंगा जलसा निर्मल है अविराम है हर बारा देवी की प्रतिमा बच्चा बच्चा राम है जिसके सैनिक समर भूमि में गाया करते गीता है यहाँ खेत में हर के नीचे खेला करते सीखा है जिसके सैनिक समर भूमि में गाया करते गीता है यहाँ खेत में हर के नीचे खेला करते सीखा है जीवन का आदर्श जहाँ पर परमेश्वर का धाम है हर बारा देवी की प्रतिमा बच्चा बच्चा राम है चंदन है इस देश की माटी तपो भूमि हर ग्राम है हर बारा देवी की प्रतिमा बच्चा बच्चा राम है धन्यवाद थैंक यू गर्ल्स वेरी वेरी ब्यूटिफुली डन Next, uh, we have Samaira Gupta, who will be reciting "Ye Bhumi Hai Hamari Veeron Ki." The stage is yours, Samaira. Namaste. My name is Samaira Gupta, and today I will be singing a song on a Republic Day, a patriotic song, and Happy Republic Day to all. ये भूमि हमारे वीरों की हम वीरों की संतान है हम भारत माँ की शान है शान है शान है ला 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 ये भूमि हमारे वीरों की हम वीरों की संतान है हम भारत माँ की शान है शान है शान है ये बुजक अरकने वाली है ये जुबक परकने वाली है ये बुजक अरकने वाली है ये जुबक अरकने वाली है दुश्मन भी हमसे डरते हैं दुश्मन भी हमसे डरते हैं हम देश की रक्षा करते हैं करते हैं करते हैं लला 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 शीश चराते हैं चराते हैं चराते हैं लला 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 ये भूमि हमारे वीरों की हम वीरों की संतान है हम भारत माँ की शान है शान है शान है 
धन्यवाद थैंक यू सुमेरा थैंक यू वेरी मच नेक्स्ट वी हैव स्वास्तिक हु इज गोइंग टू सिंग द सॉन्ग आओ बच्चों तुम्हें दिखाए आओ नमस्ते माय नेम इज स्वास्तिक एंड आई विल लाइक टू सिंग अ पैट्रियोटिक सॉन्ग आओ बच्चों तुम्हें दिखाए जाके मुस्तान की इस मिट्टी से तिलक करो ये धरती है बलिदान की वंदे मातरम वंदे मातरम वंदे मातरम वंदे मातरम ये है अपना राजपुताना नाजे से तलवारों पे इसने सारा जीवन काटा बची तीर कटारों पे ये प्रताप का वतन पला है आजादी के नारों पे कूद परी है यहाँ हजारों पर मन यांगारों पे यहाँ लगा दी नहीं बोल रही है कन कन से कुर्बानी राजस्थान की इस मिट्टी से तलक करो ये धरती है बलिदान की वंदे मातरम वंदे मातरम वंदे मातरम वंदे मातरम देखो मुल्क मराठों का ये यहाँ से बाजी डोला था मुगलों की ताकत को जिसने तलवारों से टोला था हर पर्वत पर आग लगी है हर पत्थर एक सोला था बोली हर हर महादेव की बच्चा बच्चा बोला था यहाँ शिवाजी ने रखी थी लाजो मारी शान की इस मिट्टी से तिलक करो ये ढलती है बलिदान की वंदे मातरम वंदे मातरम वंदे मातरम वंदे मातरम जलिया वाला भाग्य देखो यहाँ चली थी गोलिया ये मत पूछो किसने खेली यहाँ खून की ओलिया एक तरफ बंदूक के दंदर एक तरफ मरने वाले बोल रहे थे इंकलाब की बोलिया यहाँ लगा दी बहनों ने भी बाजी अपनी जान की इस मिट्टी से तुलक करो ये ढलते है बलिदान की वंदे मातरम वंदे मातरम वंदे मातरम वंदे मातरम जय हिंद आजादी का एक खूनी फाग हुआ उस तभी हुई चिंगारी ने फिर दिया जन्म एक ज्वाला को क्रांतिकारी बना भगत सिंह त्याग प्रेम की माला को सांड्रस को मारे बलिदानों की कसम भगत ने खाई थी त्यो किए दिमाग के संसद में और भैरव को गुण सुनाई थी भेजा जेल भगत सिंह को और उल्टी गोरों की चाल हुई पहली भाई एक सौ सोलह दिन की भूख हड़ताल हुई वो अर राह की जिसने सपने इन खिलाब के देखे थे उस मूछ के ताव के आगे घुटने गौरव ने भी टेके थे घुटने गौरव ने भी टेके थे जो चाहा था भगत ने वो आखिर इंजाम हुआ भगत को फ्रांसी दी जाए ऐसा कोर्ट में ऐलान हुआ मज का दिन आया ये भूमंडल भी डोर उठा जिल का हर एक कोना उस दिन रंग दे बसंती बोल उठा रंग दे बसंती बोल उठा तेईस साल का एक लेकर जो आजादी आजादी का दीवाना था सीधे आजम मोख लाया है ही तुम्हें बतलाना था यही तुम्हें बतलाना था हैप्पी जय हिंद थैंक यू थैंक यू पुष्टि रिमाइंड्स मी ऑफ अ ब्रीफ पोएम सरफरोशी की तमन्ना अब हमारे दिल में है देखना है जोर कितना बाजुए का दिल में है ब्यूटीफुल वेरी नाइसली डन पुष्टि Next, we have a song by Adya Janesh. Uh, this is the song "Sare Jahan Se Acha." 
formerly known as Karna e Hind. This is an Urdu language patriotic song for children, which was written by Muhammad Iqbal in the Ghazal style of in, uh, Urdu poetry. Adhya. Uh, my name is Adhya and I'm singing Sari Jahan Si Achcha. Sari Jahan Si Achcha Hindu Sita Hamara Hamara Sari Jahan Si Achcha Hum Bul Bule Iski Ye Gul Sita Hamara Hamara Sari presentation is by Kashvi, who is going to present a speech on Rani Lakshmi Bhai. Kashvi, do you need to present? Should we make you the host? Yeah. Okay. You got it. Um, namaste. Today I want to talk about Rani Lakshmi Bai. Um, sorry. Okay. Rani Lakshmi Bai, the Rani of Jhansi, was an Indian queen of the Maratha princely state of Jhansi in North India, currently present in Jhansi district in Uttar Pradesh. She was one of the leading figures of the Indian Rebellion of 1857 and became a symbol of resistance to the British Raj for Indian nationalists. She was born on November 19, 1828 in Varnasi as Manik Manikarnika Tambe. Lakshmi Bai was brought up in the household of the Peshwa. She grew up in the she grew up with the boys in the Peshwa's court. She was trained in martial arts and became proficient in horse, in horse riding and sword fighting. Soon she married the Maharaja of Jhansi Ganga Dhar Rao in 1842, following which she was rechristened as Rani Lakshmi Bai in the honor of Goddess Lakshmi on her wedding day. 
but soon she was widowed without without bearing surviving heir to the throne just before the death of maharaja she adopted a boy um she adopted a boy as his heir to the throne but the general of india refused to recognize the adopted heir and the next jhansi lakshmi bai refused to see jhansi to the british in the year of 1851 when the entire country was already fighting the first war of independence rani joined the wagon of sir hugros demanded the complete surrender of jhansi mutineers in the neighboring areas headed toward jhansi to offer her support to strengthen her defense rani also had an army of women it is said that she fought the british bravely with her infant son the modra tied to her back and sword in her hands after giving a tough fight to the britishers she was killed on 18th june 1858 following which troops whisked away her body so that her last wish of not being captured by the british could be fulfilled now um अब मैं रानी लक्ष्मी बाई के सम्मान में कुछ कहना चाहती हूँ सिंहासन हिल उठे थे राजवंशियों ने जब रिकुटी थानी थी बूढ़े भारत में एक फिर से नई जवानी थी गुमी हुई आजादी की किस्मत सबने पहचानी थी दूर फिरंगी को करने की सबने मन में ठानी थी चमक उठी थी सन सत्तावन में वह तलवार पुरानी थी बुंदेली हर बोलो के मुंह से सुनी हमने एक कहानी थी खूब लड़ी मर्दानी वो तो झांसी वाली रानी थी खूब लड़ी मर्दानी वो तो झांसी वाली रानी थी थैंक यू वेरी नाइस सो इंस्पिरेशनल राइट वी हैड सच इंस्पिरेशनल कैरेक्टर्स इन आवर हिस्ट्री वेरी प्राउड ऑफ यू काशवी दिस वाज वेरी नीडेड <laughs> all all the children including the girls are feeling empowered right now thanks for sharing this thank you <laughs> um next we have naman with a patriotic poem namaste aap sabko mera pranam I will be saying a poem 26 January then Gor Shali 26 January fair hai aayi man mein nayi umang laayi fair tiranga rahe aayega vishv gagan par cha jayega denge isko log salaane ho jayegi bor suhani yaad karenge gorav gata ravi tak par pran kiya tha पूर्ण सर्वाज्य लक्ष्य हमारा सब लोगों का बनाता नारा देश में है हुई फिर आंदोलन आगे आगे ते नकतागन हमने जीली हर कठिनाई तब जाकर आ जाएगी पाई फिर हमने सभी रन बनाया छब्बीस जनवरी को अपनाया छब्बीस जनवरी दिन गौरव इस दिन की है बात निराली हम खुशी बांटने दुनिया को हम हंसते और हंसाते हैं सारे जग में सबसे अच्छे हम भारतीय खुलाते हैं चलो फिर से खुद को जगाते हैं अनुशासन का धंधा फिर घुमाते हैं सनहेरा रंग है गंतात्रा का शहीदों की लहू से ऐसे शहीदों को हम सब हम सब से जगाते हैं थैंक यू नमन very nice um next we have uh, gur simran ji who is going to um perform a patriotic song dil diya hai jaan bhi denge hi everybody 
My name is Gursan. Name is it's so exciting to see so many kids uh, performing Republic Day program so well. It's so exciting. <laughs> so here are just two lines from my side. Mera karma tu, mera dharma tu, tera sab kuch mein, mera sab kuch tu. हर कर्म अपना करेंगे हर कर्म अपना करेंगे है वतन तेरे लिए दिल दिया है जान भी देंगे वतन तेरे लिए दिल दिया है जान भी देंगे वतन तेरे लिए हर कर्म अपना करेंगे वतन तेरे लिए दिल दिया है जान भी देंगे वतन तेरे लिए तू मेरा कर्मा तू मेरा धर्मा तू मेरा अभिमान है ए वतन महबूब मेरे तुझ पे दिल कुर्बान है हम जिएंगे और मरेंगे ए वतन तेरे लिए दिल दिया है जान भी देंगे ए वतन तेरे लिए हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख ईसाई हम वतन हम नाम है जो गिर को जुदा मजहब नहीं शाम है हम जिएंगे और मरेंगे ए वतन तेरे लिए दिल दिया है जान भी देंगे ए वतन तेरे लिए दिल दिया है जान भी देंगे Next, we have uh, Naksh Mehram, who is going to who is going to uh, have a poem dedicated to the love of India. Hi, everybody. My name is Naksh, and I'm six years old. And I'm going to recite a poem for Republic of India Day. I mean, uh, India. Hi everyone, my name is Naksh and I'm six years old and I'm going to recite a poem for India Republic Day. Stop. Ours is a land of sages, known for bravery for ages. None can with it compete. Its culture none can beat. Whatever caste or religion, all live here in unity with rivers, sweet fountains, with rivers, sweet fountains. It's a land of high mountains. Its green forests are pretty. 
and our source of prosperity. For, let's for its work hard, for its safety be on guard. Thank you all. Very nice. Oh my, very well said. Thank you. Uh, next, we're going to in, going into the Kahoot game. Before we uh, go into the Kahoot game, I just uh, I was just informed. Uh, I should say a small uh, sorry to Soham, who uh, I by mistake said she. Soham's a boy, and uh, I hope you are okay and take care. Soham, you did so well. We are very proud of you. Keep doing the right things. Thank you, Soham. Um, next, we'll be going into the Kahoot game. Are you okay, Soham? You okay? Soham is okay and he's excited for the game, I know. Lakshmiji? Okay, let's go into the game then. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Um, so I think all the children here are much more experienced with the uh, Kahoot game. So I actually have my little helper, my Shreya. She's going to help me. And we are going to start the game. So first of all, I want to ask you, uh, did you go through the material that was sent to your parents on um, on the WhatsApp chat? Did you happen to read anything about Republic Day? Actually, we had very wonderful presentations already from Sanvi and Lakshmiji, very well defined about how and what uh, Republic Day means to us. Over to Kashvi, who has uh, covered the Indian hero for us, uh, Rani Lakshmi Bai. But uh, for the Kahoot game, uh, we wanted to include um, um, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. So I, we have two topics from where the questions will be asked uh, in the Kahoot game. We have uh, the Republic Day event and how it's celebrated. And the second topic is Indian heroes. Uh, national heroes, and we have selected Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. So if you have not been able to go through the material, hopefully uh, playing this game will help you. And uh, I will stop talking now, and I'm going to share my screen so that we can get into it. We will give you the instructions. And please let can can the uh, can we play? Oh, yes, so. yes, Sanupama ji. Yes, Sanupama ji. We <laughs> play karna hai. Sabko play karna hai. Okay. So, okay. Let me let me provide the instructions. We have to go to um, kahoot dot it on your um, Google. If you go to any browser, uh, look for kahoot dot it. I'm going to show you here. So you just say kahoot dot it. And when you press, you will get a game pin. So you will be asked to give a game pin. And the game pin for this game that we are going to play is, it's loading. There you go. So 535 are you able to see my screen? Can somebody confirm? Yes. Perfect. And uh, once you go in there, you will be asked to uh, <laughs> uh, put the names. And as you can see, all our little champions are selecting very, very innovative names. Uh, wonderful. So cute tiger, super dragon, soaring oryx. Special Impala. Okay, it's so much fun. I'm gonna give you all another minute to join. So again, I will repeat the instructions. You go on your browser, you just type kahoot.it, it, and then when you press it, you will be asked for a game pin. 
And the game pin for our game today is 5354786. We have 20 participants. Excitement is building up. Okay, 21. Okay, does anybody else need time? Any more time or can we start with the game? Okay, going three, going two, going one. We are going to start it. So for the uh, beginners, I just want to tell you that you have to, your screen will only show you the responses, right? For the questions, you have to look at this screen. Um, my screen which I'm sharing so that you can see the question you switch to your own screen to un give answers give responses okay and on my screen you will also see the dashboard of the winners so I'm going to start three two one we are starting it now India's Republic Day Kahoot three two one go here it comes the Constitution of India came into effect on January 26th, and which year? You have 15 seconds to go. When was the Constitution of India actually made? Or uh, actually not made, actually came into effect. So it took around two years to get the Constitution formalized. Okay, you can see the score. <laughs> 12 of us have selected 1950. And some of us didn't know because 1947, I would have also, you know, gotten confused. But never mind, now we all know. Right? Yeah. Did I answer? Okay, moving on to the next question. Okay, cute tiger, you're on the top. Next question is true or false? The Declaration of Indian Independence is also known as Poon Suraj. Is it true? or a false statement. The Declaration of Indian Independence is also known as Poon Swaraj. Okay. So 16 of us know what the Poon Swaraj is. Five of you who didn't know, now you do. The Declaration of Indian Independence is also called Poon Swaraj. There you go. Next, and you're gonna look at the scorecard right now. Woohoo! Rapid Dingo is up on top. Never mind. Just take your time. Let's do correct. You know, correction matters. So let's focus. I'm jumping to the next question here. The main Republic Day celebration is held in which city? Bangalore, Bombay, New Delhi, or Shimla? Sanvi also shared this in her presentation. I think Lakshmiji also mentioned about it. The main Republic Day celebration in India. Whew. I like it. I like it. That's very good. Everybody knows New Delhi now. Very proud of you all. Jumping into the next one. Oh, neither scoreboard. Okay, we are doing very, very, very good. Yeah. What is that? Okay. Next. The something commander in chief of the Indian Armed Forces takes salute on the Republic Day Parade. So we all know that there is a parade that happens. So who actually takes the salute on that day? Is it Governor General? Is it Prime Minister of India? Is it President of India or Congress President? You have four options. You have 10 more seconds to go, nine, eight. So which of these four takes the salute on that day? Good, very good. So um, 
if you have not been able to watch, ask your, um, I mean, you can go yourself or ask your parents to help you look at the uh, Indian uh, Republic Day celebration parade that happened on the 26th in India. It was a wonderful event. You should see uh, the president and the prime minister, how they reached out to everyone and how they celebrated it. It was a little different this time because of COVID-19, but it was wonderfully presented. So very good. And uh, whoever didn't know, now you know, President of India is the one who actually takes the salute on this day. Next. Okay, scoreboard. Very nice. Okay, this one is a true or false. Delhi Republic Day Parade starts from the gates of Rashtrapati Bhavan. Is it true or false? You see the picture of Rashtrapati Bhavan as well here. Does it start from? Good. Most of us know. Most of us do know. So from Rajpath, which is Rashtrapati Bhavan is there and that's where the... And you guys can ask me a question or you guys can contribute. Anupama ji, Lakshmi ji, agar kuch is, iske baare mein bolna chate hai, we can chat as well here. But mujhe to bahut achha lag raha hai ye khel ke. Maine bahut kuch sikha hai isme. Yeah. Uh, just to inform all of the children because Rashtrapati Bhavan se kyu hota hai? Because vaha se hi Rashtrapati ji ki, you know, I have been there so wo pura puri unki sajai jati hai baggi sajai jati hai and pura pura wahi se parade shuru hoti hai everyone gathers there aur wahan se shuru hoti hai bahut acha bahut acha thanks anupama ji okay scoreboard pe dekhenge oh no this is the next question now 26th jan 1950 something began his first term of office as president of india who was it dr ambedkar Dr. Rajendra Prasad, George VI, or Mahatma Gandhi, who was the first president of India. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Click. Click. Ooh, very, very well done. So Dr. Rajendra Prasad ji, um, he was our first uh, president of India who actually um, began uh, his first term on the same day, on the Republic Day. Anupama ji, kuch aur aap batana chahe? Dr. Rajendra Prashad was a very learned person. Mm -hmm. so, mein ke, uh, he was one of the finest uh, prime minister we have, presidents we have. Very, very good. Yeah. Very, very good. 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 Formulated the contributed and formulated. Yep. Perfect. Thank you, Lakshmi ji. Let's go next. Okay, they are showing the scoreboard right now. Okay, I'm going to the next question now. On Republic Day parades, some different regiments of Indian Army march past in their official decorations. How many? 9 to 12, 6 to 9, 3 to 4, or 10 to 3. How many different regiments of Indian Army march past? It's a little tricky question, but it is, again, a part of that link that was shared. <laughs> so... Good, good guesses. We tried. So um, between nine to 12 is the number. So is, at minimum, there are nine groups or regiments of Indian Army, and there could be 10, 11, or 12, but not more than 12. 
okay and the scoreboard has yeah quick hen and rockstar goose great job you guys when does the president of india distribute padma shri awards is it on the independence day or 29th january or republic day or on the eve of republic day right so um i i actually didn't know this when i read it i said this is very good information that the padma shri awards are actually distributed on the eve of republic day um aur kuch uh, iske bare mein padma shri award ke bare mein uh, anupama ji aap batana chahe bachcho ke sath share karna chahe lakshmi ji i actually thought it happens on the day republic day but the event is actually on the eve so on the 25th of january 25th of january or uh, uh, yeah or i i as per uh, my remembrance rashtrapati ji bhi mila bhi karte hain sabse us din Yeah, he sits in his garden and he greets and meets everyone there. So I was when I was a child, I met uh, whom did I met? I I remember I don't remember the name, but I remember going there. Wow! <laughs> yeah, incredible, incredible feeling. Very good. Okay. the beating retreat is performed by which three types of forces in india is it engineers doctors and teachers is it by the prime minister of india is it ministry of state or by indian army okay i like it so um jal sena थल सेना और वायु सेना की तरफ से um, पूरी सल्यूट दी जाती है एंड दिस इवेंट इज एक्चुअली अनुभवा जी करेक्ट मी फाइम रॉन्ग बट थ्री डे इवेंट दैट हैपेंस ऑन रिपब्लिक डे थ्री डे इवेंट और सब अपने अपने वो जो एक आपको पता होगा बच्चों की एवरी एवरी आर्मी नेवी एंड दे हैव देयर ओन बैंड and they have their own uh, you know kya bolte hain dhun bajate hain apni apni you kyun karte hain why they do it to encourage their soldiers okay everyone Jee. is too much into this game so ji nahi nahi bahut acha i i really found it informative ki humne padh ke aur bachcho ko aise aise batayenge to this is a innovative way to make them learn yeah बहुत अच्छा थैंक यू अनुपमा जी ओके गाइस, आई एम गोना मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वी आर ऑन क्वेश्चन टेन फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स जन गन मन एंड उसके बाद क्या आता है सेवनटीन आंसर्स इन ट्वेंटी आंसर्स इन ओके okay, जो भी जिनको भी नहीं पता था जो रघुपति राघव जाना गाना चाहते हैं वो गा सकते हैं लेकिन जन गण मन अधिनायक जय है इज द राइट वन बहुत अच्छा आई थिंक आनिया यहीं तक था हमारा नो वी हैव मोर क्वेश्चंस बट आई थिंक दोज आर फॉर आवर इंडियन हीरो सेक्शन I think so. Yes. So Subhash Chandra Bose ji was born on which day? Subhash Chandra Bose ji was born on January twenty third, eighteen ninety seven. 
he's one of our indian heroes and um, i know you children don't get to learn about our indian heroes here but he was i mean back in india when we studied in indian schools we had we learned a lot about all our indian heroes and their stories are very inspirational whenever you get time you should try to read about them uh, like kashvi told us about rani lakshmi bhai um we have learned about mahatma gandhi ji subhash chandra bose ji was also one of our warriors who actually contributed a lot to indian history and our independence okay we are going to the next question who was subhash chandra bose ji strongly influenced by who was he influenced by Gandhi ji Abdul Kalam Azad ji Narendra Modi ji ya Swami Vivekanand ji Very good very good most of us know and yes Gandhi ji is always the inspiration as well but for Subhash Chandra Bose ji um he was a follower of Swami Vivekanand ji and he wanted to uh follow that path and always was you know highly impacted by the uh contents and the approach that swami vivekanand ji uh taught in and wrote about okay moving on where did gandhi ji send subhash chandra bose ji to work which of these cities calcutta delhi katak uh, or gujarat Gujarat is a state, not a city. That is right. In Calcutta. Okay. I'm moving on because we are getting out of time now. Subhash Chandra Bose ji was elected president how many times 1 2 3 or 4 Okay yeah this was a tough one but do baar unko Subhash Chandra Bose ji ko elect kiya gaya tha president the term i'll have to go back but mujhe year nahi yaad hai lekin it was two times oh this is the last last question is coming up you guys in january after disappearing from home subhash chandra bose ji reached where germany via afghanistan pakistan london or india Okay so yes he actually reached Germany via Afghanistan this is one of the mystery uh, subhash chandra bose ji uh, ki kahan par uh, itna yahi tak pata hai abhi tak there's no proven um, story about what happened to him after he reached germany but this is definitely known that he actually uh, via afghanistan went to germany during the end of his life Okay so this was the last question the podium is right now rapid dingo is the third person rockstar goose and quick hen okay so uh, i'm going to uh, you guys have to tell us who you are <laughs> i i'm going to stop <laughs> stop the share Okay, and uh, put you on the gallery view. You guys have to tell us who's who. So, who was the first? Quicken. Quicken. Who is Quicken? 
It was we, uh, Shalini, Shanvi, and Anya. Okay, all the three. Good. He was the three children, so you guys. Three kids. Three of us were playing together. Yeah, quick hands. Yeah, quick hands. I'm good. Okay. Um, and who was the second one? Shia, yeah, let's see. Let's see. Who was the second? Second was Rockstar Goose. Raise your hand. Talk to us. Who's Rockstar Goose? A shy person, for sure. Who is it? नहीं बताना चलो next time next time फिर अच्छा सा और भी अच्छा सा innovative नाम ढूंढना अपना and then tell us बहुत अच्छे and rapid dingo are you ready to raise your hand oh Tejas congratulations great job very nice very nice Lakshmi ji back to you thank you so much for giving me this opportunity thank you hello hello Mona ji can you hear us जी जी सॉरी वी हैड आवर माइक्रोफोन प्रॉब्लम सो सेकंड वाज सो हम रॉक स्टार डी ओह वेरी गुड सो हम यू आर रॉक स्टार या सॉरी वी हैड माइक्रोफोन प्रॉब्लम नो प्रॉब्लम नो प्रॉब्लम ग्रेट जॉब सो हम थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी नाइस गुड ओह बैक टू यू लक्ष्मी जी वी कैन कंटिन्यू थैंक यू सुषम Namaste, everyone. First of all, I would like to con congratulations to all the cohort winners, okay, and all the participants also. They all did a great job, okay, and a very very happy Republic Day to all of you. Uh, now uh, I'm going to sing Vande Matram, and for Vande Matram, I Mona ji ko special thanks bolungi ki unhone apni turn mujhe deke mujhe aage kia. I'm thank you so much, Mona ji. होप मैं आपकी तरह गा सकू हरिओम हरिओम हम सब इसमें इकट्ठे हैं सब गाएंगे आपके साथ जी 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 प्लीज मेरे साथ दीजिएगा ओके ओके मैं स्टार्ट करती हूँ वंदे मातरम 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 वंदे मात सुजलाम सुफलाम मलयज शीतलाम सुजलाम सुफलाम मलयज शीत सश श्यामला मातरम वंदे मातरम वंदे मातरम वंदे मातर वंदे मातरम वंदे मातरम श्रुभ जोस्त नापुलकित यामिनी फुल्लक सुमित्र द्रुम धल शोभिनी श्रुभ जोस्त नापुलकित यामिनी फुल्लक सुमित्र द्रुम धल शोभिनी सुहासिनी सुमधुर भाषिनी सुखदाम वरदाम मातरम वंदे मातरम वंदे मातरम वंदे मातरम वंदे मातरम शुभ जोस्त नापुलकित यामिनी फुल्लक सुमित्र द्रुम धल शोभिनी सुहासिनी सुमधुर भाषिनी सुखदाम वरदाम मातर वंदे मातरम वंदे मातरम वंदे मातरम वंदे मातर कोटि कोटि कंठ कर कर निनाद कर ले दृशब्द कोटि बुझ धत्र कर कर वाले सप्त कोटि कंठ कर कर निनाद कर ले दृशब्द कोटि बुझ धत्र कर कर वाले की तुम बोले माँ अब ले बाहुबल धर मीम नमा कर नृपुदल वर न मातर वंदे मातरम वंदे मातरम वंदे मातरम वंदे मातरम वंदे मातर 
ವಂದೆ ಮಾತರಂ ವಂದೆ ಮಾತರಂ ವಂದೆ ಮಾತರಂ ವಂದೆ ಮಾತರಂ ಸುಜಲಾಂ ಸುಫಲಾಂ ಮಲೆಯ ಜಶಿತಲಾಂ ಸು ಸುಜಲಾಂ ಸುಫಲಾಂ ಮಲೆಯ ಜಶಿತ ಸಶ್ಯ ಶ್ಯಾಮಲಾ ಮಾತರ ವಂದೇ ಮಾತರ ವಂದೇ ಮಾತರಂ ವಂದೇ ಮಾತರಂ ವಂದೇ ಮಾತರಂ ವಂದೇ ಮಾತ ವಂದೇ ಮಾತರಂ ವಂದೇ ಮಾತರಂ ವಂದೇ ಮಾತರಂ ವಂದೇ ಮಾತರಂ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ವಂದೇ ಮಾತರಂ ವಂದೇ ಮಾತರಂ ವಂದೇ ಮಾತರಂ ವಂದೇ ಮಾತರಂ ಜೈ ಹಿಂದ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಜೈ ಹಿಂದ್ ಜೈ ಹಿಂದ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸುಷ್ಮಾ ಜಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಅ ಬೆಂಗಾಲಿ ಪೋಯಮ್ ರಿಟನ್ ಬೈ ಬಕಿಂ ಚಂದ್ರ ಚಟರ್ಜಿ ಯೆಸ್ and uh, it was first sung by rabindranath tagore and it became really really one of the um, most inspirational songs of the independence movement yeah very nice thank you shishma ji very nice we the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute india into a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice social economic and political liberty of thought expression belief faith and worship equality of status and of opportunity and to promote among all of them fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation in our constituent assembly this 26th day of november 1949 to hereby adopt enact and give to ourselves this constitution what i just read is the preamble to the constitution of india in today's troubled times this reminder about justice equality and liberty for all its citizens will not be remiss on the occasion of india's 72nd republic day aren't we also proud of the vaccine maitri program through which india is delivering free covaxins and cov shield to several countries in the indian ocean region i offer my greatest appreciation to all the participants for performing in today's celebration my heartfelt thanks to the numerous volunteers and to our tech team who work in the background for their time and effort in making this event such a success thank you and a very happy republic day weekend to everyone thank you again thank you thank you, thank you. Happy, happy republic, republic day. day bye happy bye i need you guys to just uh, wait for me for one more information that i would like to hear i want to thank lakshmi ji a lot and to all the participants very well performed